if you're gonna do this, you might as well use a fork and a knife. If you can't handle the girth of a Big Mac, you probably shouldn't be eating it. So if you put a sponge under the hammer and then gently pull it out, it might work. Or you could just get good and just pull it out with your bare hands. Take off sunglasses while talking. <laughs> no! Hello friends, it's me, your favorite sick YouTuber, sounding extra nasally today. So according to 5 Minute Crafts, there's a bunch of things in this lifetime that I'm apparently doing wrong. We're all doing wrong. You've been wearing headphones wrong your whole life. This is not how you do it. 99.9% .9 of people wear headphones like this. You guys are all wrong. You have to do it upside down. So the wire goes behind your ear. What if I have a headset? Does this work? Am I doing it right? Oh. Hello? chicken sandwich. My earlobes. They hurt. <gasps> what if you got AirPods? I don't have AirPods. But would they stay like that? I don't know if you got AirPods. Try it and let me know. I've been tying my shoes like this my whole entire life. And just now I'm finding out that there's a much simpler way to do it. <gasps> what? Y'all see that voodoo magic? You, you see how she just went like, beep. Where are my shoes? What did they do? They picked it up like with their pinky fingers and then crisscrossed them and then... Did I do it? Kind of. Not really, but they did it so gracefully like... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to kindergarten to learn this all over again. Bad driver check. Hang up a tennis ball on a string in your garage. So when the ball hits the windshield, you know that's when you can't pull up anymore. I may or may not have needed this hack five years ago. When I pulled up into my garage a little too much and just pff, destroyed the drywall. Now my car has a sensor. And when I get too close to the wall, it starts beeping, so. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the one thing that I've seen multiple times. They're like, no, don't hold your burger like this. Hold your burger like this. Looking like we about to do some jutsu. But they say to eat a burger like this because you can hold the whole thing. If you're gonna do this, you might as well use a fork and a knife. If you can't handle the girth of a Big Mac, you probably shouldn't be eating it. I never see someone pick up a Big Mac and be like, oh, it's falling apart. It's like, it's too thick for me. Either you got some baby hands or your burger is defective. Send it back and get a refund. No, I don't like this. I'm gonna continue eating my burgers however I feel comfortable. Ugh. Booger break! Do you guys hear how miserable I am? Like when I blow, nothing comes out. The only way I have reprieve is when I sneeze. And then when I sneeze, I don't hold back anything and I let it all come out. And then if I'm lucky, the stuff that's up here that won't come out might decide to come out. It's a struggle. You can't just put a band-aid on your boo-boo like this. Ooh, it just slips right off. So cut the sides and then crisscross applesauce, the boo-boo paper. Ooh, it got your finger good. There's no pulling that off. It ain't slide it off. This is the correct way to do a finger band-aid. It's always gonna slip off, you know, into the bathtub, into the sink when you're washing your hands, into the salad when you're cutting lettuce. It's happened before. Ain't nobody wanna find the surprise band-aid in their parfait. So if you crisscross it, it'll stay. Lucky for me, a few days ago I actually did this. And I can confirm this bad boy held up all day until I was ready to take it off. Instead of it slipping off, going to live its own life. You know when you almost add a Nutella and your jar starts looking like this? Don't throw it away. Don't you dare. Put some milk in it and then shake it up. <gasps> oh, is it like cho- Oh, it's Nutella. Even better than chocolate milk, it's Nutella milk. Oh, that sounds delicious. But not so nutritious. You see, every time I mention Nutella, I always think of this photo. This is what Nutella is really made of. Mostly sugar. A tiny bit of hazelnuts. We got some cocoa. You know, that's what it says. It says it's hazelnuts and cocoa. But look how little the amount of hazelnut and cocoa there is. And then skim milk powder and then palm oil. There's more oil than cocoa and hazelnuts combined in a jar of Nutella. By the way, I also pronounce Nutella. I think that's pretty gross, but I'll still eat it because it's delicious. Man, I eat everything, but in moderation. Wait, did you tell me I can't pour sugar in my drink and mix it? What do you mean? So when I pour sugar into a drink, I'm not supposed to do a circular motion. I'm supposed to go back and forth. You know, that's actually how you do matcha. When you make matcha, you're not supposed to do it in a circle. You're supposed to do it like in zigzags. And it's supposed to ensure that there are no clumps. So I guess it would make sense to do it with anything that you mix. I am just now realizing this. Me getting mad whenever I put in a drink 
mix and I stir it up and I get angry when there are still clumps the size of Minnesota in my drink. But I'm supposed to be doing like a zigzag motion. Duly noted. You heathen, how dare you put your grimy fingers inside the Pringles can. Put in a piece of paper and take them out like this. Okay, I see this hack and I'm like, ain't nobody got time for this. I don't have time to make a pull out party tray. I like kind of pour a stack out onto my hand and it's like, I'm eating this stack. Or I'll just eat the whole can. I guess if you got people over, this is a good way to do it. Or if you're a stay at home mother who lives in Kentucky and has nothing to do all day. Yeah, sure, I'll fold a piece of paper into the shove it in the can and pull it out. We got a whole entire Pringles party tray. What? Are they trolling me now? She carries her own bag. Your boyfriend is not allowed to carry your bag. Sorry. Y'all want equal rights? Carry your own bags. What? Why is this included in a things you're doing wrong? No. Top 10 reasons to have a boyfriend so they can carry your stuff. You fool, did you just put a plug into an outlet? Or is that another plug? Plug into a plug. They'll just come undone. Oh, tie them and then plug it in. That is pretty smart. Cause what if somebody trips over it or somebody pulls the wire? Wham, bam, lost Microsoft Word document, ma'am. Can't be risking losing my work like that. Ah, so if you got old pizza, you microwave it with a glass of water in the microwave. You telling me it'll come out good and moisty? You know, I've never tried this. It still looks pretty dry to me. I've never tried it, but I probably will. But then again, I like cold pizza. Comment below, what you prefer? Warmed up pizza or cold pizza? Can't find the end of the tape. Oh my god, this is me all the time. Finally, a hack for me. Tape a paper clip. Who has time for that? I feel like if you just fold the end of the tape where you last left it. That's what I've been doing. But sometimes I ain't even got time to fold the end of the tape. And then I lose it again. If I look like I'm about to cry, I really have to sneeze it. It's not coming out. <laughs> Wow, did you just pick up a piece of pizza just straight up? No, everybody knows you gotta fold it. It's a very specific motion to eat a slice of pizza. See, I have no complaints about this because I do it myself, but the only downside, even though it's the same amount, I feel like you eat the pizza faster because it's folded in half. Does that make sense? You see, I am a seasoned expert pizza folding eater. I feel like I can't enjoy as much of my pizza if I fold it like that, but it is easier to eat so suppose it's a fair trade-off <gasps> you fool did you just break off more Toblerone than you could handle you're supposed to press it in not out hmm. you know what I might just eat it straight up just uh, you know I don't even touch the Toblerone when I eat it just mouth to chocolate contact <laughs> take off sunglasses while talking <laughs> You mean I'm going to risk UV rays burning my eyeballs for the sake of some petty conversation? No thanks. I can't believe this is even included. You see that hole in your can of Dr. Pib? You stick your straw in it. Because if you stick a straw in a carbonated drink, it just pops right out. Oh, too spicy for me. So stick it in the hole. That's what she said. Don't put apples in a Ziploc bag. They'll turn brown. Oh my god, they really made a vacuum seal for their apples. That's pretty fancy. I didn't know you could just stick a straw in, suck the air out, and then it's like an airtight seal. You can buy some expensive appliances that like do that for you. Or you could just stick a straw in, give the air a good old suck. Wham bam, yes ma'am. They sell these at Whole Foods for $4.99. Are you pouring peach juice and still making a mess? Pour it upside down. So anytime you pour out of a carton, the hole should be on top. I know it looks more dangerous, but you're supposed to trust in the heart of the cards. I mean the hacks. And it's supposed to not make a mess. Look at that. Look at that pouring velocity. Not a drop wasted. Unlike this fool over here. Okay, this is something I still struggle with. Putting a necklace with these pesky hooks on. Either you find somebody to help you with it, or you get a paper clip. You know what, in my whole entire household, I don't think I own a paper clip. We're just not that kind of family. That still doesn't solve my issue, because it's really hard to do with nails like mine, just doing those kind of necklaces with nails like these. The clasp is just so small. And even if I had the paper clip assisting me, it would still be a struggle. <laughs> That's me trying to take a nail out of the wall. Ugh. Then I'm like, why did I even bother? Now we gotta paint the wall. So if you put a sponge under the hammer and then gently pull it out, it might work. Or you could just get good and just pull it out with your bare hands. 
<gasps> no, no, <gasps> he just broke an apple with his bare hands like it half. Five bear crafts, what kind of monsters you got working for y'all? Oh man, I just made apple pie and I used all four of my apples. Otherwise, I would bust out an apple right now just to try this. So you twist off the stem and then he just like <laughs> ripped it a new one. Whoa, I'm afraid of your strength. <gasps> what? This is the ultimate midnight snack. This mad lad just sliced his pint of ice cream to make the perfect cylinder for his ice cream sandwich. It's so perfect. I want to try this. Don't fix your makeup in public. Excuse me? My lips are chapped. I'm gonna balm it up 24-7. I don't care where I am. Why don't do it in public? I mean, I get it. Don't put on a whole face of makeup like at the office meeting. But like, don't fix your makeup in public. Nah, you go ahead and fix it wherever you gotta fix it. Take a choco pie. Put it in the microwave. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, so those choco pies have marshmallows? So it's like a cookie, marshmallows, and then dipped in chocolate. And then when you put it in the microwave, it warms it up and then makes it like a s'mores cake. Oh, it's genius. So far, some pretty good hacks. Don't put the salami directly on the bread. Cut the salami in half and then place it strategically on the bread so that none of the bread is lonely and it's completely covered by the bologna. Bologna rhymes with lonely, kind of, not really. Stop struggling putting your heat in the key ring. Use a staple remover to open it up and then put it in. I mean, you could honestly use anything. You could use a toothpick. You could use your nail. You could use your finger. I mean, it's 2019. Do people still struggle with these? Because I don't. I did like 10 years ago. Maybe I got stronger. I don't know. Don't pour paint like that, you stupid human. Put a paper bag and then pour paint. Why did he pour it in a bag? What's the point of pouring it in the container in the first place? I don't understand that one, but also I don't know very much about painting. When you finished your food, put your fork and knife, not crisscross, but laid perfectly parallel at an angle. Okay, I mean, I get not, don't crisscross then because as soon as the waiter picks them up, they're gonna fall and nobody likes a floor fork. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, the fist, and comment below which one of these would you actually use. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.